Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender 3.5 for video editing. In the past few sessions, we have talked about how to use the compositor to do neat things, like in this case, taking a video file and getting rid of the background. So all you're left with mostly is the subject. And then from there, going into the video sequence editor and sticking it in as a scene strip over top other things so that you can continue working with it as a normal uh, input for your project. What we haven't talked about is how slow it can be to use the compositor. And to demonstrate that, I am going to go ahead and render this right now, and we'll see how slow it is. So here we go, I've started, and you can see here the frame number that we're at is slowly increasing over time. Uh, and it is very slow, which we can tell is slow because if I were to mute this uh, scene and plus this one, and I turn this one on so that we can see the original video, and I again go to render, render animation, there we go. I, I'm not going to say blazing fast, but significantly faster than using the compositor. And why is that? Um, well, that's I don't know. I mean, that's that's Blender just doing Blender. So what can we do about it? The, the simple fact of the matter is if you need that entire scene to be processed in that manner, well, there's, you, you have to render the whole thing. But if you didn't need everything, certainly don't use it all. Because here's the thing with this. This result, uh, the result of our uh, work in the compositor was to basically isolate the subject and for a good chunk of the video that subject the ant isn't even in there it's not in the shot so if we needed it just for the last piece uh, don't use the first piece so right here I have a marker it says start a full run I'll go ahead and jump to that marker now and then I will just delete what I don't need so I am going to with this scene strip still selected, uh, press the letter K to make a cut, and then I will press X to delete it. Now, let's see how it would go. Oh, actually, let me also hide this. There we go. So, let's see how it's going to look now when I hit the render. I hit render animation, and you can see it's at this point, it's processing at the normal uh, blender speed for whatever it's doing in the video sequence editor. Once it gets to this point, that's when it's going to start slowing down because that's when it is actively pulling in the all that work we did in the compositor uh, to render it out to our video file. So that is a basic tip for you there. And in this particular example, what I did was I did a cut. So I did a cut and you can clearly see that I'm only using this part of that scene. Um, the other thing you could do is use this checkbox to mute and unmute as you want to, to make things uh, available for the video sequence editor to work on and then hide it away when you don't. <clears throat> to be able to do that, you would have to use animation. So you'd have to set up a keyframe. So you'd, you'd hit the checkbox and then you'd press the letter I on your keyboard to insert a keyframe for that. And then again, the, the flip of that, then you would toggle it off. Again, hit the keyframe button, the letter I, I to, uh, to set that keyframe every single time. And you would do that uh, as you needed. But deleting, uh, you know, uh, cutting and then deleting is certainly uh, an easier option in my view. Uh, and that is basically it. That's all I wanted to tell you. Uh, just that using the compositor can be very slow. So just turn it on uh, inside of your video sequence editor as you need it. So that's it. A nice short video for once. I uh, hope you did enjoy that. If you did, please give this a like and a thumbs up and everything else so that you can continue enjoying these Blender videos. Thanks and bye now.